Anna Slikowski. Higher performing athletes are more susceptible to depression. This is according to Robert J. Scheich, a professor at Lawrence Hearing University in the International Journal of Sport and Exercise Psychology, posted in 2019. Everyone in this room has been a part of a competition of some sort that has required a thought process. Sports psychology is a major aspect in the full development of an athlete. First, I will talk about the interventions in sports. Second, I will talk about the psychological resources for athletes. And lastly, I will talk about statistics found in sports psychology. First, I will talk about the interventions in sport performance. According to Selena D. Bronzo, a professor at the University of Chetty Pescara, and Dagmara Butnik Probeskova, a professor at the University of Gdansk, in the International Journal of Environmental Research posted in 2023, interventions are crucial for sport development. According to Zachary Zenko, a professor at California State University, and Leighton Jones, a professor at Sheffield Hallam University, in the book Essentials of Exercise in Sports Psychology, posted in 2021, mental imagery is the deliberate construct of an image from memory consisting of classy sensorial, affective, and perceptual components. There are five functions of mental imagery. Cognitive specific is rehearsal of specific physical skills. Cognitive general is the rehearsal of game plans and strategies. Motivational specific has to do with goals wanting to be attained. Motivational general mastery has to do with challenges that are overcome during sport, and motivational general arousal has to do with feelings, feelings felt during sports. There are two types of imagery. According to Stina Watchman, a professor at the University of Tugbin in the Journal of Applied Sports Psychology posted in 2022, internal imagery is visualizing yourself performing the act from a first person perspective. External imagery is visualizing yourself viewing the act from a third person perspective. Goal setting is setting aims for one's actions. Goal setting increases focus, attention, effort, and determination. By enhancing goal commitment, you are more likely to attain these goals. Motivation is a transitory aspect. It changes day to day. One person's motivation can impact others around them. Self-determination theory is one individual-based motivation theory. It highlights the three psychological needs. Competence is the ability to perform a task effectively. Autonomy is the control over one's actions. And relatedness is connection with others. It also closely relates to the three types of motivation. Intrinsic motivation is internal motivation. Extrinsic motivation is external regulation and a motivation is a lack of motivation. Next, I will talk about the psychological resources for athletes. Psychological resources are very resourceful for athletes' development. Having good mental health relates to positive athletic function. An increase at peak age of mental disorder also overlaps with peak age of athletic performance. Destigmatizing and encouraging conversation on mental health between athletes and coaches can encourage mental performance. Social support is the, the support that one has or perceives from their social relationships. It can help with well-being, stress, and help an athlete thrive. Social support is most important during rehabilitation from injury. Next, I will talk about the statistics found in sports psychology. Statistics prove the need for interventions. Males are more likely to partake in aggressive behavior. 24% of male athletes report a physical altercation in the last 12 months, compared to 12% of non-athlete males that have reported a physical altercation in the last 12 months. Athletes are also at a higher risk of experiencing depression. 21% of males, male athletes have experienced depression to the point of impaired functioning. 28% of female athletes have experienced depression to the point of impaired functioning. Athletes are also more susceptible for anxiety. 31% of male athletes have experienced excessive anxiety. 48% of female athletes have experienced excessive anxiety. First, I informed you of the interventions in sports. Second, I informed you of the psychological resources for athletes. And lastly, I informed you of the statistics found in sports psychology. Sports psychology is a major aspect in the full development of an athlete. 
Now that I have informed you of the psychological aspects of sports, you can better understand why athletes are more susceptible to depression.